Robert Lee Yellen, don't use the Lee very much. People call me Robato in Japan. I moved here on December 3rd, 1984, but the first time I came was when I was a college student for a three-week program. So three weeks wasn't enough in 1982, 83. So in 84, I came back for another year, and it's been a really long year. I have a ceramic art gallery in Kyoto, Japan, uh, highlighting and showing uh, works from people living today mostly of different styles and regions. Most people, uh, they probably don't recognize it because you have to have a sensitivity and most people watch too much TV. Uh, but if you're sensitive to your surroundings, then you'll surely notice subtle changes. I know that a large cause of climate change is our consumption of food. And I think a lot of uh, the environmental problems actually start in our kitchen by what we eat and what we throw away. Uh, I mean, I, I, we're, we're just two people here, and I'm amazed at how much trash we have just for the two of us. You know, when we go out to the plastic, you know, disposal day, it's like, really? Just the two of us? Why in Japan do they wrap a bunch of bananas in plastic? <laughs> Why are two lemons wrapped in a plastic and then on a tray? So it's ridiculous in that respect. And there's a Japanese proverb that even dust amassed will grow into a mountain, which means that your own little individual power, when it becomes a collective consciousness, uh, m possibly will move a mountain. And when I was, I used to teach English at a university, I used, um, it's a little outdated by, but there's a philosopher named Peter Russell, and he did a beautiful video called The Global Brain and how when we connect with each other, um, and now it's so much easier because we have the technology, that people around the world, and we're seeing it, will realize our connectiveness, not only to each other, but to nature. So these little things make me feel better and hopefully they'll change consciousness of people who view them.